All right, what do you got, Jeremy? So <clears> last <throat> week I'm at work. I had a, uh, a meeting with an engineer in his office about some uh, potential issues. And uh, I'm coming back to my shop from his office, and I'm walking down the aisleway. Great big fucking, you know, aisleways that they have for forklifts and shit that can get down there. It's about the same width of a street. But I notice I'm about 25, 30 feet away, and I see something on the floor in the aisleway. And here, as I keep walking to it, here's the conversation that I have in my mind. That looks like, no, that couldn't be. Is that, a, well, it might be, no way. Yep, that's a turd. Is Amber Heard buying a jet? Did they give her a tour of the place? Or? N- no, I can I can tell you 100% that's not what happened. Okay. Um, do you know how hard it is to keep a straight face and go to your boss and tell him, um, there's a turd in the walkway. It is especially, all but impossible. Especially when you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Someone shit in the walkway. Yeah. Jeremy, we have you on video. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Trust me, this, this goes places. Um, so anyways, uh, I didn't realize what I was potentially doing. Had I, had I known what this was going to start, <laughs> I would have not said anything. Oh, please tell me it's like shit gate. Oh, all fucking hell broke loose. <laughs> Uh, oh, for those who don't know, I am an aircraft mechanic. I, I build commercial <laughs> aircraft for a living. I won't say what company for, but um, so basically, my entire building is uh, an, an FAA secured building. So we have all kinds of government regulations, and with this uh, turd in the the aisle way, uh, we are out of compliance now on our hazardous waste disposal. <laughs> And because I'm the one who's reported it, I have to be involved every step of the way. My boss oh, has this big, I'm not kidding you, six inch thick binder of emergency situation protocols. And there is a section in there for feces in common areas. Which means that this has happened before. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. Fucking We had to tape off a 25-foot radius perimeter around this to be in compliance I just with like, biohazard tape. I just like to picture... Like, in that guy's office, there's a wall of photos with red yarn going from, like, trying to connect the dots. It might as well have been. (laughs) Once we made the perimeter, we had to have people stationed on all four sides in bright orange vests to redirect any foot or vehicle traffic that may come through. Move along, nothing to see here. (laughs) Yeah, sorry, Park's closed. <laughs> Moose out front should have told you. Um, my boss then has to place a work order that, because I'm the one who reported it, I get a copy of said work order. But I can't take it out of the place. It's just for my personal <clears throat> records. Um, because we are under contract with a janitorial company, anything in the common areas, we're not allowed to actually do any of the cleaning because that takes... <laughs> work away from them. So we have to wait on them to come (laughs) clean this up. Uh, So I get a copy of the work order. And here's uh, hazardous material cleanup. Uh, (laughs) This is the way he worded it. Under the comments. In the walkway, a poop. A singular poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> this is so 
this this woman from the uh, custodial company comes. Like she's done this a thousand fucking times before. Picks up the poop. <coughs> barehanded? <laughs> barehanded. No, she's got big ass fucking gloves on. But no like hazmat suit or anything like that. Because you would think that it was fucking plutonium oh, God. that we've found. Uh, it was just a poop. It wasn't even <laughs> smelling at this point. So anyway, she comes in and picks it up and puts it in a trash bag. And then sprays down all kinds of fucking disinfectant and wipes up the whole fucking area. Not phased a bit. She didn't even, she wasn't even like, oh, God. It was like, well, same shit, different day. <laughs> Literally. Literally, same shit. No, different shit. Maybe same day. I don't know. But so anyhow, um, then there's a full-blown investigation into this. Because somebody violated <laughs> our hazardous waste disposal they're considering it sabotage at oh. this point because literally we can be audited by any number of 20 different government entities including fucking epa could have gotten involved in this had we been <laughs> oh i audited. wish that would have happened oh my God. I, no this would have been real bad had <laughs> had we not followed all the proper steps so anyways this investigation they want to identify who did it and there is security cameras all over the place out there but we only get a view of the back of the guy. So they show me the video. Here's what happened. <laughs> Dude is walking down the aisle. He's wearing a t-shirt, a ball cap, and like cargo shorts. And you see him walk down the aisle. He's got his hand in his pocket. And then you just see him kind of like shake his leg and his shorts. And it just... <laughs> <laughs> so he had apparently shit in his pants. <laughs> Oh, my God. Dropped it out of his fucking leg and walked off like nothing ever fucking happened. Oh, Jesus. And it was, I, and, and they're like, can you, can you identify who this is? Which is, it's weird because while I do work in a building with several hundred other people, I go there every day. So by now I can usually spot just about anybody who's supposed to be there. But it's not uncommon for people from other buildings to come through the sure. area. And, and I'm like, no, I have no idea. But to be honest with you, even if I could, I don't think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of admire the guy a little bit. But yeah, so uh, oh. that happened to me last week. Jesus fucking Christ. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you sh even if you're wearing cargo shorts, you can't be wearing underwear underneath there. I would it. think not. No, you're, you're I, believe me. If they ever identify this guy, I got questions. <laughs> right? That's the logistics funny. of this is Ugh. fucking beyond me. But it is so very clear. It's black and white, but it's high definition black and white. Ugh. You see it come out the <laughs> bottom of his fucking shorts. <laughs> There's not a doubt in the world that that is human poop. A, a poop. <laughs> That's what I love. Oh, jeez. Well, a that, poop. You know we had a... We're going to give that guy a hell of yeah. a round of applause for this. Holy that guy made shit. my week. Yeah. You know what we had... My a, wife might still be laughing <laughs> after I told her about it. You know we had double headers, you know, all week. Oh, yeah. Because it rained out uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes. Uh, the, create, the fun thing, though, was on Thursday... I took a tour of an aircraft facility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did. Well, yeah, you got to learn to hold it for a long time, but there's just so much a guy can take. <laughs> hey. oh, you shit. see enough propellers, you start getting so, excited. Something yeah. about a fuselage just makes me runny. <laughs> I, I think he was just trying to get out of something, is I think what the whole point was. Yeah, he wanted to leave work. <laughs> he wanted to leave work. Dude, I would fucking <laughs> jump in my car as fast as I could, get the fuck out of there, text my boss something. I wouldn't tell him that that's what happened. But uh, it'd be funny if he did I, the old chewing gum trick. You know, like whenever you were a kid and you'd spit your oh. gum out and try and kick it. Yeah. <laughs> they just like tried to back. Heck, he said. The corn really held it yeah. together. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Somebody literally <laughs> bought him some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, for being the guy that's actually admitted to shitting himself on this uh, on this podcast. Here's the thing. The guy would be in absolutely no danger whatsoever had he just gone and, and told, told somebody the, a manager or just somebody. But instead, he chose to <laughs> leave it, which then is sabotaging us for a potential 
uh, government audit. All oh, right. Well, I think you should and just went with the old defense finders keepers losers weepers. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah. And and the company that I that I work for. Well, that's that's kind of why I have to be involved in the process along with my union steward, so they don't try to hang it on me. Oh man. But uh, and it's very clear this man was very slender. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm shaggy on this. Nice. Wasn't me. <laughs> what, what, me? <laughs> Oh Jesus! This best. This is the best. I thing. thought you meant the other kind trying to investigate the old man who left the poop, yeah. <laughs> like so like scoop who pooped in the aircraft facility. <laughs> it was the Phantom, <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. This is the guy who lost his aircraft facility in a bank repossession, <laughs> trying to get it back. Uh, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> Why go. did those uh, old men always want to protect those abandoned amusement parks? No idea. What the fuck were they gonna do with it? Uh, oh my! Oh my, like it's old lady Amber from the Aquaman movie. <laughs> 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 fuck yes, that's best. Shaggy, thing. Thelma, we gotta really stick our noses in this one. <laughs> Someone's had a lot of Scooby snacks. That's right. Somebody really <laughs> stepped in at this time. <laughs> And, and and that's the thing. I it is it weird that my radar could detect that from 25, 30 feet away? <laughs> that was the first thought. That looks like a turd. A poop, Jeremy. A poop. It's a, poop. It's a singular that, poop. That looks like a poop. <laughs> and it, it landed and stood like upright. Uh, <laughs> So like the top was the fucking, mushed, he stuck mushed the landing. In. Yeah, 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 like a javelin. <laughs> he should have just went quietly back, got a little Santa hat, walked back over, put it on, uh-huh. Mister Hanky. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, somebody, Jeremy somebody walks by and just it, goes, Howdy ho! Somebody who saw it after me apparently put a paper bag over it. <laughs> <laughs> Did they try to set it on fire? <clears throat> not, not wrong direction. Oh, God. They, they just set it like, hey, don't walk here. <laughs> but they didn't tell anybody about it. I got the Good Samaritan Award for <laughs> no, that. Now for I, I have to be involved in whatever. <laughs> it would not surprise me because I work for a very large and wealthy company if they didn't do <clears throat> DNA on it because they're pissed. Yeah. And shitted. I like, I like to think the guy that put the paper bag on it wrote, caution, a poop. <laughs> <laughs> and and here's the funny thing about it is like... <laughs> this every, whole fucking by, thing is funny, Jeremy. By the, by the time that, you know, it got cleaned up, everybody in the shop knew about it. People were standing around coming to take a gander at it and shit. But it's like, even to this day, it's been half a week later... And it's been all cleaned up and disinfected. And as people are like walking out at quitting time, they'll walk around <laughs> that spot. Nobody will step there. There's a like chalk that's outline a bad of a turd. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's something with this. Uh, there's a vortex here <laughs> that just makes people shit. <laughs> something that just sucks it right out, uh, right man. out your jeans. There's gonna be old old tales like, oh well, you remember that one time James stepped right where it <laughs> was, and then he got his hand cut yeah. off. Right, that's the cursed poop spot. Right, dude but, didn't even look back. Well, that it's it, like this is a once a week th- occurrence for him. Yeah, just nailed it. Walk, <laughs> yeah, but there's audio. I hope that's in it. Uh, nailed not. it and walks off. <laughs> 